Hola, it's me, your guide Heisler, and for today's vlog, la hit nyo siya kind of vlog guys, because as you've noticed, uh, we've done vlogs in the past, with more travel, we also did some uh, few updates, okay. some vlog vlog, and all sorts of stuff, so now, it's a different kind of vlog, because we will be having a literal unboxing of our latest uh, how to shop. Alright, so I have here with me the package. Kaganina lang judicial arrived. This is so fresh from the farm. Fresh from the farm. And I'm so happy and excited for this one because we had done a couple of vlogs already. And as you noticed, medyo shaky ang mga video. So this particular uh, equipment or device that we bought is a uh, some sort of a support. No? Actually, this is a gimbal. A gimbal is a support device that. Uh, keeps your cameras and smartphones still. Okay. So, para di whenever you are doing or recording videos while you are moving or you are in motion. Or especially kung galiko ka object, meaning to say, like siguro nagsayo siya or perhaps a dog running or perhaps anything that is in motion. So at least when you try to capture the film, di lika siya kung ka shaky when there are sudden ano. Uh, motions or the hook uh, every now and then. Alright, so I got this one from DJI Philippines during the Shopee sale this April and actually it's priced at if you want to buy it. Oh my god! Yeah, it's the 4,400. 488 pesos. This is a gimbal, one of the most expensive in the market. And um, I actually have the option to get it from other online platforms besides Shopee, of course. And then they also have Lazada and as well as AliExpress. So, depending on you have a uh, preference, you can actually search for it. So, this is the DJI Mobile Osmo 3. No? So, para sa katubang wala na kaibalo, a mobile gimbal is a device na ginagamit sa mga uh, professional and also non-professional uh, videographers to make cinematic na videos or motion pictures. No? Okay, kung mabantayan ninyo, kung mag-film mo while you are actually walking or nag-move ang muhang object perhaps, or mas kinikaw, uh, manotis ni mga mag-shake judan mong video, no? So, this gimbal will help uh, reduce the shaking and then somehow uh, maintains the stability yes. and then for a smooth and then sleek so it further enhances your mobile videography experience and therefore uh, improves your content. Kinagamit ka niya mostly sa mga aspiring bloggers out there like me, of course. Uh, isa na siya sa mga gears na nasa mong bucket list that, that any vlogger should have para nga mas mas nindog ang mga gawas na mga video. Alright, so mag-unpack na ta.
actually trying to demonstrate to you now how to connect your device to the mobile gimbal. First thing is first, you need to download a certain app called DJI Mimo. The app is actually available at the uh, Google Play Store. Uh, you need to download it first. And then once you're able to download, then you'll be able to uh, connect the said mobile uh, device to your gimbal through the use of uh, Bluetooth. Alright, so in the next video, I'll be showing you how to make use of the DJI Mimo uh, app. I'll be showing you some basic maneuver and how to use the said app. And also, I shall be showing you what are the other features that is kind of available in the said app. So now, let's watch this. Alright, so good afternoon everyone. I'm here to demonstrate to you how to gain connectivity to the DJI Mobile Osmo 3. So all you need to do is first to download an app named DJI Mimo. It's actually available on Google Play Store. Alright, so once you're able to download it, uh, you then have to open. Alright, so now we're inside the user interface. And then, so sa sulod ani niya, daghan kay ni siya og mga information about different products under the DJI brand. So in order to know more about the basic information about these products and some basic tutorials, you just have to hover over the kaning folder and then um, actually it houses information about, as I mentioned, the product, uh, some applications available for it and the manual. And then actually you have other options for different products like DJI Pocket, DJI Pocket 2, DJI Action, and DJI Osmo Mobile 4. So we have here a sample manual for beginners. So ayan, diri gibutang kung saan pagamit, how to turn on, how to move the uh, gimbal, tilt or pan your phone. Also, diri po gi pakita ang saan pag record, ang saan pag change from photo to video, how to zoom, and how to lock the device para nga dili siya ma gamit for security purposes. So, ayan. And there you have it. Um, going back to our user interface, uh, you have an AI editor. This is a uh, artificial intelligence, so it, it helps you edit. Right, so, nine mga basic templates there, you guys, available. So, should you have uh, pre-existing videos, so you just have to click on it and then say, for example, this one, and then edit. This uh, particular feature enables you to edit pre-existing videos. So, kani mo gusto nga app na na siya built-in uh, feature, no? When it comes to uh, basic editing. So, say for example, if you have a video, say this one, you just have to click on edit, and then siya mo asa siya mo kung sa na kanang type of kanang um ayan. There. Uh, you can actually change the, uh, the, the the template that you are using. So this is a very short clip lang just to highlight some of your videos. So say for example like that. Ayan. So na ano siya yung mga free ng mga audio and some basic editing materials na ginagamit for blogging. So muna siya, gamit kay siya guys actually for ka ng mga naay mga vlog ni mo. Ngayon, gusto lang ni mo highlights lang ang marag teaser kumbaga. So you can actually make use of that and then ano. Also, kung gusto ka ka ng comprehensive nga editing, you can also make use of this particular feature. So you can edit the video, say for example we have a video here, and then pagkahuman, you can actually change the tone, change the volume, and also you can change the, uh, you can add some background music. So by, by the way, this particular music are copyright free, so they are available, you just have to tap on it, and then click select, kung asa yung ganahan, say for example this one. Ayan. So, dagan po sa mga lain nga mga 
option we have powerful pop funky cheerful uh, carefree so on so example carefree and you just have to click on the use tab and then immediately mo add it into the same video so i'll just show you an example so mo na siya na, na add na siya no so madungga na din siya And so going back, you just have to save and exit. You should may save your complete cargo. You can actually cancel or exit without saving. All right. So uh, also you have an account for this app wherein you can store your works. Katumang gipang edit ni mo through the AI editor and then the basic editing katusha. All right. So you can actually upload it to their website, and then you can gain likes or perhaps. Um, store it just for reference so alright so there you have it guys those were some of the basic features of this DJI Mimo app so now let's go to the main highlight uh, by going to the main dashboard alright so in order for us to access the main dashboard you just have to turn on your bluetooth and then once you establish connection you click on the camera icon or the camera tab Right, so now we're inside the main tab. Actually, you have several options available. So you can either do hyperlapse, time lapse, dyna zoom, basic video, photo of course, uh, panoramic, and story. So Kenning Story guys actually has some basic template already. So you can actually do random videos in one just to highlight some of your stories. Alright, so say for example if you're doing a vlog, so you wanted to highlight the vlog by ano lang, randomly picking short clips from the video. So you just have to record yourself. By the way guys, can you a particular feature has some built-in templates already from afternoon to lucky so it will show you how the video will transition say for example freedom ayan sports so on and so forth so depende sa imo ha kung sa ano mo siya pag what, what what particular template you're going to choose once you click on start so actually pwede ka mag record as short pwede ka mag record ng video as short as 4 seconds or 4. Point, 4.7 or 4.9 seconds. So, depende sa template nga mong ipili. So, say for example, mo ano siya. And then, uh, depende na din sa mo kung sa ano mo paggamit, no? Ayan. So, there. Dagan ka siya options for you to choose from. And then, actually, this particular templates are also available on the AI editor, if you, if you can recall. So, same rin siya ato. It's just that ato nga tab, you can actually edit pre-existing videos. Kani siya, you need to record your own clips lang. Marag snippets of your uh, uh, current project or kanang yun yung vlogging activity. So there you have it. So ayun, I don't have much information about other uh, things and how to use. Okay, so basically for hyperlapse, you need a tripod para nga mas better ang imang shooting results. If you're going to shoot some videos that are, uh, you know, are moving, constantly moving through time. So you can actually do a hyperlapse or a shortened time lapse or the time lapse render itself you know, for that particular video. For the dual zoom, you can actually, or for the dyna zoom rather, you can actually move in or move out. So if you click on move out and then automatically when you move backwards, say for example this one. Okay. Let's click on the screen. Ayan. So, ayan. so let's see. So it's creating the video.
there you have it guys thank you thank you so much for being with me today so i hope you learned something new about the dji mobile osmo 3 so actually i'm just uh, done with a very short demonstration on how to uh, basically uh, maneuver or how to use the uh, dji app using the dji memo right so katong gusto mo palit sa dji mobile osmo 3 it's quite expensive guys if you do not have the finances para mo palit ato siya um you can make use of your own uh equipments right so if you have the capacity must better because as you know it mas nindot ang mga quality sa videos na atong ga record for our contents so if you have the capacity then go for it but if not uh, let us be practical okay by the way uh, katong mga nakapalit na o oh, mobile gimbals as well from other brands can you comment down below kung sa mga worst and best experiences when it comes to using gimbals uh, also my best gimbal so far in the market i've heard that the dji mobile gimbal is quite uh, good uh, actually, that's the reason why hindi pala yun nako siya. Yung nga nako siya. Then, thank God, nag-sale siya. So, okay, from I think 6,000 plus na uh, SRP niya na down, so to something, 4,000 na lang kami. So, thank you, Shopee, for that. <laughs> okay, so again, thank you, thank you so much, guys, for being with me today. I hope you learned something new about DJI Mobile Osmo or Gimbals in particular. Sa mga wala pa nakapag-subscribe sa channel please do like and subscribe my youtube channel and help me reach 1000k subscribers gamay na lang kayo guys and then please do uh, ring the notification bell as well and share this video para nga mas uh, managahan ka the more the merrier so again thank you, thank you so much and so looking forward to hear more from you soon on my next future or upcoming videos so again this is your guy Heister and Yeah, bye bye. Bye bye.